my name is Thomas Tucha. I'm the Managing Director CEO of the Viva GmbH, um, located at Munich. We're dealing as with uh, transfer pricing specifically. That's a very big uh, field, uh, including yeah, corporate finance controlling, benchmarking, uh, profitability management, uh, and much more. So I started with KPMG a long time ago um, and in, in the transfer pricing department. Uh, finally realizing that a lot of things can be do better, can be done um, on an automated basis. And so this idea came up finally to really build up um, um, analytical solutions, finally BI-based solution, data-based solutions. And um, yeah, we, we're delivering them to, let's say, larger mid-sized companies um, since uh, 2008. So we delivered solutions to uh, John Deere, for example, um, if you're talking about you know, bigger names, yeah, um, Shot, Shot Group, uh, Festo, uh, as an automation group also, and and uh, and such companies, yeah. So usually, let's say the range is between, yeah, it's starting at let's say uh, 200, 300 million euros in group revenues up to let's say three billion, four billion in revenues. First of all, um, yeah, they, uh, we um, uh, store all the data really in data uh, on, a, on the beta page level finally. And um, so that's a, a big advantage because usually, you know, you have such a lot of sources um, where you have to grab all the data relevant for intercompany pricing, for uh, performing your functional analysis, RACI analysis uh, that you have to perform segmentation of your financial data and, and such um, tasks. Uh, so this is one big uh, advantage, of course, uh, that we really have uh, created um, a data warehouse where we store all the data uh, on a legal entity basis. Also, uh, that means uh, the income statements, balance sheet data, cash flow data, uh, pricing data, of course, but also, and that's very specific, um, not a lot of uh, companies really do that, or have the data available um, is that we are doing that also on a transactional level. So we're storing all, uh, all the transactional data, if it's about delivery of goods, services, um, or royalty um, royalties or intercompany finance. All of the data is finally stored in our um, data warehouse and is accessible and uh, finally available for any kind of multidimensional reporting on one hand side, and finally. What we've created with our solution, which is called CrossView Connected Finance, um, we were able to finally um, uh, use that data, all the reportings uh, created, reports created, uh, finally in order to, uh, to create narrative reports as well. So all kind of transfer pricing reports, think about a financial report that you know, um, that's more or less the same in, in, in transfer pricing, but we have to do that on a uh, group level, um, which is uh, finally called the so-called five master file uh, document. Also, we have to create um, uh, such reports on a local level. And meanwhile, that's relatively new. We have um, also the obligation uh, to create um, so-called country by country reports where you have really to, full, uh, to uh, demonstrate uh, that your arms, uh, your data is at arm's length, as we say, that is that it is um, probably defined you know, between your intercompany um, units um, um, uh, on a worldwide scope. So that's uh, that's really a lot that has to be done, and um, and of course this requires an, a modern or let's say an analytical approach. Finally. Yeah, a, a BI approach uh, to really fulfill all of that uh, tasks. Um, at least benchmarking is uh, uh, required in order to really test if prices are at arm's length uh, between um, um, companies um, that are finally transferring goods uh, with, um, to each other, uh, transferring services, uh, royalties, or as I already mentioned, even financing transactions. Uh, as there's not a lot of uh, pricing data available, that means data on prices uh, in the market, that has its reasons, that's clear. Uh, we have finally to focus on uh, finance, uh, financial data, that means uh, profit and loss data as well as benchmarking data. And there are several um, 
uh, providers of that data uh, in, in, on, in the market. Uh, very big ones are, for example, uh, Bill Oakman Dyke uh, or Dun & Bradstreet and others. And this data is finally taken in order to benchmark, compare so-called routine companies, routine functions, you know, like, for example, pure distribution or the pure distribution function or manufacturing function or an R&D function, but on a very low level, we call it um, routine functions in transfer pricing. So these are finally used in, in order uh, to compare the, uh, the profitability. Here, um, finally, Manitouti comes into place um, uh, because uh, they are providing also a very, very uh, impressive uh, tool based on actuaries. Uh, which can be easily used in order to um, get data from U.S. market. So they have uh, a huge uh, database uh, um, available with all the uh, analytical uh, features in there uh, to calculate all profitability uh, KPIs, uh, as well as uh, delivering all uh, the financial statement reports uh, from the IRS. So this is a great tool, uh, finally called FinViews. Um, and um, and uh, it's it's really fantastic uh, to to have that data um, as an additional source in order to perform our benchmarking. So all the tools out there have been tested from our side, ClickView and Tableau and others. And um, yeah, what we get where we get stuck all the time, uh, we're in 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 two um, in two specific. Yeah, requirements or in two specific uh, specific tasks. So aggregating the data uh, was not really yeah um, enough, especially if you think about you want to segment data um, for, for your profit and loss um, uh, statements along certain functions. You have to regroup them and you have to calculate all profit level indicators, and that based of course on your data warehouse data. So that was one challenge, and so we had always to come back to um, to Microsoft BI because their um, modeling language, uh, DAX, um, data access uh, language, it's really fantastic. You can really do almost everything. Uh, it's far beyond all other tools. Okay, other tools, they are focused on reporting. Uh, my, the Microsoft uh, Power BI stack, it finally you know, focuses on um, on data modeling as well, and of course, has a great uh, reporting engine um, and very flexible as well. And so the idea was born finally, yes, that we should um, set up our cross-view system uh, totally on uh, Microsoft Power BI. And uh, one thing is was always missing in the equation because Microsoft Power BI, as all the other two uh, uh, providers, uh, don't support um, write back. Uh, we cannot really do planning with uh, with Power BI, and so we're searching. We were searching for a tool that was capable of that, and we searched and searched and searched, and finally <laughs> we found Actuaris, and we were so surprised and so impressed how easy it was finally to set up planning models, not only price planning but also, of course, the standard uh, budgeting, setting up any kind of um, yeah, product planning or other approaches. That we finally decided to go for uh, Actuaris. And by the way, besides the planning capabilities, it easily allows you to, to embed or to integrate your data model. So there's a great engine, um, which is called the Actuaris uh, Modeler. Uh, so it's very easy to set up, uh, to bring in your existing model and finally set up all the uh, reporting tasks, tasks based on uh, Microsoft Power BI. So it's fully integrated, it's agile, it's, it's really a fantastic tool. So, and that was so impressive for us, seeing all, what you can do with it. And um, so at least we were able to finally integrate uh, everything, the whole process, really from, um, from the data, um, um, from data sources, uh, to reporting, narrative reporting, and finally even um, planning uh, based on, on an actuaries. So this was, um, I think, the right decision finally to get one uh, system and not to jump between different systems all the time when it comes to let's say more complex uh, analytical issues uh, or uh, when it comes to planning requirements.
we're active specifically in the uh, in the Dach region. That means Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. But um, that means that uh, our clients are located headquartered there. Uh, but of course, all the subsidiaries we're dealing with, where we grab the data, where we uh, have to perform all the benchmarking and and, and of course function analysis and so on and so on, uh, they are located worldwide. Yeah, so in the Netherlands, in um, yeah, in uh, Norway, Sweden, yeah, just really everywhere in the U.S. So we're dealing with. Uh, let's say with the whole world family in China, of course, uh, Taiwan and uh, Singapore, very important specific, specifically for the production function you may imagine. Yeah. So um, uh, that's uh, what we're focusing at. Uh, what are the services that we're providing? So finally, uh, let's say we're um, supporting the whole BI stack um, based on Microsoft technologies um, and beyond. I mentioned some other tools as well, but uh, mainly with focusing um, on the Microsoft Power BI stack. That means all the ETL uh, processes, extracting, transforming, and loading of data into a SQL Server database from any kind of source. Um, uh, that's that's one thing that we are, of course, that, that we're um, performing, of course, that means all the SSIS implementations. Uh, we are providing also um, data warehouse um, uh, modeling and um, and using um, uh, Microsoft SSAS Tabula, for example, in order to embed all these uh, data models there. And, um, and finally, of course, on the reporting end, um, uh, we are um, we're providing the whole uh, reporting functionalities, including also uh, statistical implementations. If you think, for example, coming back to a terrorist planning, um, in, including planning uh, models or forecasting models based on Monte Carlo simulations, for example, or um, or regression analysis and, and others. Yeah, so um, really the whole range, uh, BI range is finally supported from our side on the BI or technical consulting side, and yeah, focusing uh, on the business side, as mentioned, uh, specifically group control and benchmarking and and then transfer pricing as such.